Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and the question is how to give non-administrative accounts to read Event Viewer in Windows 2008, R2, and 2012. I'm going to show you on Windows 2012, Windows Server 2012, and the procedure is the same in uh, Windows 2008, R2. So let's get to it. Uh, this is my uh, server. This is my domain controller, uh, and this is my server where I want to give uh, permission to any other user. I do have a user I created just for this demo purposes called uh, Event Reader, but um, uh, this applies to any user who would like to or group who would like to uh, read the per, um, event log on this particular server. Uh, in my case, it's Dynamics AX. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Computer Management. Uh, in Windows 2012 computer management and you can do it on 2008 uh, computer management as well so here the computer management opens we're gonna go ahead and go in local users and group uh, we're gonna click on group and as soon as you click on groups you will see up here event log reader so anybody who wanted to who is not admin on that particular this particular server and we wanted them to go ahead and have read permission on event log so we're gonna go ahead and put event log um, put that user in this particular group so what we're gonna do is uh, this is my event uh, I already did it just to check it out uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it for now so let's add uh, that event reader again click on yes and click OK so we're gonna go ahead and add that and apply and okay this could be uh, your, you know any user or a whole group that you would like to let's say uh, some uh, production support developer group would like to have event viewer uh, uh, permissions uh, and you don't need to put them in administrative um, of that particular server you can go ahead and uh, add them in event reader um, uh, group on on the target server so let's go ahead and check it out if it's working fine for us so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this server I'm gonna go ahead on my since I only have two servers and uh, let's say that this is uh, that particular users uh, local machine so we're gonna go ahead and uh, um, go in event viewer and connect as uh, event viewer user so we're gonna go ahead and open event viewer and this is the local event viewer what we're gonna do is right click and connect to another computer so our other computer is would be the target where you just um, set up the permission where you added the user in that particular event viewer reader group so we're gonna go ahead and connect as another user and set user and that's uh, that would be event reader right here so we're gonna go ahead and give the password and click OK and click OK make sure that you give a little bit time for this to uh, work properly to go through everything uh, before you do that if if you won't do that it'll probably tell you that uh, it has uh, uh, no permission and all that as you can see that we're connected with Dynamics AX Tech Brothers local and uh, we can read the event viewer on um, Dynamics AX which is you know another server so this is how you give permission to um, in Windows 2012 and Windows 2008 R2 it's really easy it's not hard and it's a best practice if you have to give other uh, users who are not admin on that particular server and wanted to give uh, uh, event reader uh, permission all you need to do is actually go on that particular server and add them in that event reader group and I hope it helps